I'm going to be filming the Ride or Die makeup tag that Jaclyn Hill created. I've been wanting to film this video for so long now, so I'm super excited that I finally get to sit down and film this for you guys. So I'm just going to jump right into this video. So if you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know all my Ride or Die makeup items, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the entire face. So primer, foundation, powder, all that kind of stuff first. And then I'm going to do the eyes. So kind of like the order that I put things on my face. So the first thing is primer, and my Ride or Die primer is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer. I've already gone through two tubes of this because I literally use it every single day. I cannot do my makeup without using this. I love to try out new primers just to see what will work for me, but I always end up coming back to this primer because it's the most mattifying primer that I've ever used. This primer is meant for people with oily skin. Obviously, if you're dry, you're not going to want to use this, but since I do have a very oily T-zone, I use a tiny bit on my forehead and then my nose and a little bit on the sides of my nose and a little bit on my chin. And then it dries super matte, and I swear I do not get oily for the entire day when I use this. My all-time favorite foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. It is probably the most full coverage foundation that I've tried so far. And I don't know how, but it just lasts on me all day. Especially when I pair it with the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, these two together are amazing. This foundation has such a beautiful finish to it. It's almost like a satiny finish, but it also keeps me matte throughout the entire day. And I feel like it fills in all my pores and just makes my face look really airbrushed and just I just love it. Okay, for concealers, I tried so hard and I could not pick one for the life of me. So I have two for you guys. So the first one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It is just the most beautiful concealer and I love the applicator on it. This really, really soft doe foot applicator and you get product on both the sides. So I can literally put this on my entire face without putting it back in the tube. What I like using this for is highlighting the center of my face. So I like to put it underneath my eyes center of my forehead, my nose, and then the center of my chin just to bring the center of my face forward. So I use the shade Light Warm, but I just think it's perfect for honestly anything. If you have a pimple that you need to cover up or redness or you just want to highlight, this is the best concealer. I seriously swear by it. Now the next concealer I have is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is a little bit more full coverage than the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but I honestly feel like it lasts a little bit longer on my skin. And I've never had problems with it creasing on me. I've never had problems with it kicking up or really doing anything. This is the perfect heavy duty concealer. So if you have a lot you need to cover up, I would definitely recommend this one over the Naked Skin Concealer. This concealer is just so amazing. I cannot say it enough. So now I have two powders. I have an all over face powder and then my powder that I use for setting my under eyes and baking. The powder that I love to bake and set my under eyes with is the RCMA No Color Powder. I love this one because it's super cheap. I think it's 11 or $12. This powder was made for people with drier skin and a lot of people have dry under eyes. I have extremely dry under eyes. Just like the perfect consistency. It's so finely milled and it's just such a beautiful finish on the skin. It never looks cakey. It doesn't cling to your dry patches and it does not make your under eyes look um, wrinkly or creasy or like kind of old and like creepy-ish. When I bake with this, it makes my under eyes look phenomenal. So this is the only thing that I bake with. Now my all over face powder that I love to use. This is my first high-end makeup purchase in my entire life is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Nothing really compares to this. This has the most coverage out of any powders. I use this to set the entire outside of my face or if I just am having like a lazy day, you can use this alone and it looks so good. It seriously covers up so much. It makes my face look so airbrushed and flawless and just really soft. Like it really fills in those pores and blurs away any imperfection imperfections. So that's why I will always love this powder. Okay, for my Ride or Die bronzer, I have to go with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium. Funny story is that I actually used to be this skin tone. I literally used this for my face powder. Like that's how tan I was. And now this is like super dark on me. And it's a pretty neutral color. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It doesn't have too many of like the red orangey hues in it. This is definitely my favorite bronzer that I've ever tried. Now for my favorite contouring powders, I have to go with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. As you can see, the middle shade was my favorite. It's completely gone. 
But now I just like to mix these two and it's just that perfect color. It kind of creates the middle one for me. And then this powder right here is the best for under eye highlighting or even setting your under eyes. It's so pretty. But I just love these two colors because they're so neutral and I feel like they work on everybody's skin tone. Alright, my ride or die blush is going to have to be the MAC Petal Power Mineralize Blush. I love this because it's such a pretty golden pink mineralized powder. I just hit pan on it a couple weeks ago because I use it so freaking much. Super pretty delicate pink with a really pretty gold undertone in it. I don't know if you can see the gold shimmer in it. It's not really a shimmer because it's not like a highlight, but there's that gold sheen underneath that just beautiful pink. And honestly, I've used this on all skin tones when I freelance. I even use this because I love it that much. When I use this, I don't even have to use a highlight because it does have that sheen in it. So it really just makes your cheeks glow and I love it. Okay, favorite highlighter. This was something that I did not even have to think about at all. I have been in love with the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter ever since the day that I tried it. It's the perfect shade. Looks so good on any skin tone. It's a baked highlighter too, so it has a different finish when it goes on the skin. It's just such a beautiful gold champagne color and I just love the finish of it like sometimes if you're using a powder highlighter and you put it on it can look powdery or like chalky kind of when you put this on it looks like your skin it looks like you're just like glowing from within I don't know if it's the formula that I like better or the color that I like better because the shade of this I've never seen anything like it in another highlighter and by the way yes I am wearing everything that I'm talking about on my face right now okay so for my brows this is pretty new also but I don't really care because I just fell in love with it so fast but it's the benefit precisely my brow pencil so I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz for forever for as long as I've been doing my brows basically. I love that but I love this even more because I can draw in individual hair strokes and it makes my brows like a little bit more natural and I also love the color in this. I use the shade 5 which is really really dark but I love having dark brows. Even though I have blonde hair I do have pretty dark roots so I like to have my brows a little bit darker. I feel like it makes my face have a little bit more definition. And this brow pencil is also waterproof. I've never heard about the Anastasia one, but I do know for sure that this one is waterproof. And this sucker stays on all day. I never have to touch my brows. Even if I do my foundation over my brows, it still doesn't come off. So it stays on forever. And it's just my favorite brow pencil for sure. Now for my brow setting gel, I love the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is like super glue for your eyebrows. It literally is like concrete when you put it on. Your eyebrows will not move on you all day, I swear to you. When you put it on, it makes your eyebrows look less fake and like drawn in because you can see more hairs in them, I feel like. I don't know if that's what actually happens, but that's what I've noticed. So I just love it using that one. And I love it because I never have to touch my brows after I use that. Okay, now for my eyeshadow primer. My ride or die primer is the MAC Soft Over Paint Pot. And even though it's thick, it never creases on me and it just really cancels out all my redness and like if you have veins in your eyes or like anything like that it cancels out everything so when you put it on you have that clean blank slate to work with and your eyeshadows just pop so much with it so that's why this one is my all-time favorite i've never tried another eyeshadow primer that is as thick and opaque as that that doesn't crease on me okay now my favorite eyeshadow palette is by far the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. I don't know what I would do without this. I've used this so much and I still have not hit pan on any of the colors. This is the best inner corner highlight. It seriously is the whitest shade I've ever used and this black shade is the most pigmented black eyeshadow that I've ever used in my life. I just honestly love this palette so much because it's so neutral and I love my neutrals. I do love playing around with makeup a lot but Neutrals will always have my heart. Every single color in here is just so beautiful and the formula is just amazing. It lasts me so long and it's just so pigmented and so creamy and buttery. It's just the best eyeshadow palette that I've ever tried in my opinion. For my eyeliner, my ride or die is the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Matte Black. I don't think you can get this in stores anymore except at the Mall of America. That's the only place I've seen it in stores. Otherwise, they only carry this online. I think it's just so easy to do a winged liner with this because it, 
It doesn't tug on your skin like a felt tip liner would. In my opinion, I think this is the maddest black eyeliner I've ever tried. I've tried the Kat Von D, the Stila liner, all those liners, and they're not as black as this one. Okay, now for my favorite mascara. This one was so easy for me to de decide also. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've tried so many other mascaras and none of them have ever compared to this one. I just think out of all the mascaras I've ever tried, some of them kind of make my eyelashes look like spider leggy, like really long and thin. But this is the only one that really makes my lashes look just so thick and curled and long and just beautiful. So for my favorite eyelashes, I'd have to go with the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. They're really fluffy and wispy and long and they just look so good on everyone that I've seen them wear. I just love how big and open they make my eyes look. All right, for my Ride or Die Liquid Lipstick, this one was very hard for me because it was between like three liquid lipsticks that I just could not choose from but the one that I narrowed it down to was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bachi. This is on my lips right now and it is just the perfect mauve shade for me. The formula of Stila's liquid lipsticks are phenomenal. They're so creamy. They're so hydrating. You can't see all those little lines in your lips. And sometimes the lipstick will like ball up on your lip when you rub them together or something. That never happens with this. And this stuff lasts so long. I've fallen asleep with my makeup a couple times and this will still be on my lips in the morning, which is just insane. If I can't decide between a shade to use, I will always grab for this one. This is the only liquid lipstick that I keep in my purse. So my favorite real lipstick, like one that's not a liquid lipstick, is the MAC lipstick in the shade Fabby. I just absolutely love this lipstick. I think it's so, so pretty and it's a satin finish so it's not drying at all on your lips. It's just such a pretty pale pink and it has little gold reflex in it. In the center of your lips, the light will shine off it and it'll have that perfect like gold hue to it. It's just such a perfect pinky nude, like baby pink color and it just adds so much life to your face. Like I could wear no makeup and put this on and feel great. I've gone through three tubes of this, which is insane because I never go through lipstick tubes. And this is this one and Faux by MAC, I've gone through so many of them. This is my all time favorite lipstick. Okay, now last but not least, my favorite setting spray is the MAC X Plus. I'm sorry, I just realized that there's a lot of MAC stuff and I swear it's not because I work there, but um, I've literally tried all these MAC products before I even ever worked there, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> but um, this is the best setting spray that I've ever tried in my life. And I also like using this to spray my brushes with. I found this to be the best setting spray to spray your brushes with when you want to make an eyeshadow like more metallic. This just basically completes my makeup and I just love wearing it because when you spray your face down after you put your powder on, it really blends the powder into your foundation. So it's kind of like all one. It's not like layers on your skin anymore. It just kind of like morphs together and it looks more natural. It takes away that fake powdery look. So that's why I always use that. And I can't imagine doing makeup without using that. All right, so that completes my ride or die tag video. I really hope you guys liked it. This is all of my absolute favorite makeup and it was kind of hard to pick and choose between what I loved most. So I really hope this helped you guys out if you were looking for some new products to buy. So yeah, if you liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.